Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, back with another holiday card. Clean and simple, which I know, <laughs> not my forte, but this idea was just mulling in the back of my head. And this week I am the host for this week's Color Throwdown Challenge. And I found this great inspiration picture and I just, the colors, again, it's not something I would think of myself. It's coral silver like pine green and white and i'm obsessed with this stamp set i've used it multiple times now this is the uh, joy to you and yours set from simon says stamp this is the set that comes in the december 2022 card kit and as the card was like building in my mind i was thinking about these foil transfers that also come in the kit they are available separately and I love the foil transfers. I used the leaf ones from last month. Yeah, the November kit and had so much fun with them. So yeah, I had a plan. So I started by cutting down some smooth white cardstock and I cut them down to three and three quarters by five inches. And then I stuck the cardstock in my Misty, lined up the big pine cluster from that joy to you and yours stamp uh, set and then I inked it up with Simon's positively saturated pine ink which chef's kiss this color is fabulous I want to paint walls in my house this color <laughs> anyway anyway inked it up stamped it without re-inking it I put the second piece of cardstock in and stamped it getting the second generation so it's a bit lighter because that will go on the inside of my card because you gotta have you know something in there and then the adhesive transfers. Now I did those other videos I showed using them. You can use them with a laminator or like a mink machine, or you can use pressure. And that's what I did this time. I decided I'll just use my die cut machine because you do not need to have um, a laminator or a mink machine to use these. And in fact, you might, I can't guarantee it, but if you didn't have a die cut machine, you might be able to use these like if you used like a bone folder and really pressed, but that would get a little iffy, you know what I mean? But who knows? So anyway, I ran this through, I, I trimmed down the sentiment, I made sure I got it adhered straight. And then I ran this through my die cut machine and I'm using the Spellbinder, like the newer platform, only because that one I haven't used for die cutting, like it's all pristine and I don't want to mar it, I know. I know, anyway basically clean cutting plates is what I recommend because again this I'm trying to keep this clean and simple and while it's not my forte I actually love clean and simple cards I love the look of them I just I am klutzy and I spill things and I wreck things and it's easier to cover up splatter bling in several layers so clean cutting plates so that I don't get a bunch of marks all over the cardstock so I ran it through I peeled it off a little too quickly at the beginning and I kind of marred the Y on the Merry Christmas. It's extremely subtle, but I noticed it and I was like, oh, but I only had the one. I couldn't redo it. <laughs> so I just went with it and a, a tiniest little like me on the end of it. It's fine. So anyway, I then cut the foil also comes in the kit. This is deco foil. And same thing. You don't need heat with this pressure does it. So I ran it through the, my platinum six, you know, as the same as you would run through with a wafer die. And that pressed it into the adhesive transfer. And then I've got this fabulous foiled sentiment, which is so difficult to film and so difficult to take photos of to like, you know, show it properly because it's foil. But, oh. and another way to get around this, if you wanted to make like multiples, this style of card in this color combo, like you could take it just a different sentiment from a stamp set and stamp and heat emboss it with silver embossing powder. That would look amazing too. My only recommendation would be to stamp your panels with whatever ink for, you know, the, the background image, make sure they're completely dry. So either leave them overnight or dry them with a heat tool, whatever, you just gotta make sure it's dry before you would go in and do any heat embossing. Cause otherwise you're just gonna have a bad time and there's gonna be heat embossing powder like clinging to everything, you know? So. On the inside panel, I stamped one of the little little companion stamps from the same stamp set with Simon's Cheeky ink. And then my card base is some coral cardstock. This one's from my stash, but I think the Concord 9th pack has a similar color. Anyway, 
use that as my card base. So it's a top folding A2 size card. And this is why I cut those white panels down to smaller so that they're framed nicely by the coral cardstock. And then the panel for the front of the card, I'm putting Simon's Big Mama foam tape on the back of this just to give it a bit of dimension. So I cover the back of this with the foam tape, peel off the backing, gonna center this onto the card. As always, you could leave it here. Like this is like clean and simple. I love the color combo, the silver foil, but of course I'm gonna add bling. <laughs> I can only go as far, tr I, trust me, I, I fight with myself with this. I was like, oh, I could do some ink blending. I could, I could add some splatter, you know, like more is more. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I was really determined to make this as clean and simple as I possibly could and just let the image and the foiled sentiment and the colors, you know, do their thing. Trust me, the next one I post is probably gonna have like everything but the kitchen sink, but Anyway, I had these coral hearts droplets. I don't think they're available anymore. I couldn't find a link to them. Um, I linked to some really cute doodle bug puffy hearts that come in a coral color, which though if I had those, I would have used them. They, they look adorable. So those plus some Studio Caudia silver sparkle crystals. I used the gold ones in a previous video. These ones are adorable as well. These are just clear crystals with silver glitter in them. Live. And they're subtle. So I added those and I actually stuck one <laughs> right over that spot on the Y that because it was just it was bugging me. So anyway, I adhered those into place with some craft hockey glue. I'm going to pair this card with a silver envelope. And that's it. I did it. And I didn't throw absolutely everything at it. <laughs> As always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. In the blog post, I'll have a link to the challenge. If you guys want to play along, you totally can. It's open to everyone. It's just for fun. And then, of course, I will link to all the supplies I used. So you can check that out below if you are interested. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.